question can you think? We're going to have a quick look at that. We have this number calculator. Now, most of you are probably used to working either in ones, tens, or working in units, tens and hundreds. Does that make sense? And you write down, there's 200. You'd write two, zero, zero, two in the hundred column, zero in the, in the tens in the units column. Now, computers, TJ, are they brainy? They are. But how high can they count? To one. To one. When they get to the number one, they have to move along a column. They're working in base two. We work in base ten. We go zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, there's no more digits. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the way to 99. No more digits. One, zero, zero. But they have to do that for every single time that they count up. So we have, so if we say one in a decimal is one in binary. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. But then we go two. Suddenly, it's crazy. What's the computer doing? It's got one zero. What's it doing? It's saying that there are one lots of two, the value of two and no of the others. So you type in any number. Give me a number. Sixty-five. Well, I did sixty-five. So tough. Right. Okay, sixty-five. It says that's one lot of sixty-four and one lot of one, and that's how it calculates it. Okay. So what do you think is the highest number an eight-bit processor can? Uh, so. Can, can manage. Two five five. Thank you very much. Two five five. Okay, there it is. Which gives you the options if they're all off and you include two five five of two hundred and fifty six different values between zero and two five five. Okay, fantastic. And you can also work that out because 